seems to be your new profile page on the internet, and it's tons of fun. For just $5 a year, you can create a great looking profile page with links to your social profiles, as well as your own personal websites. And you can choose from their built-in themes that are all super fun, or you can add your own code to make it look however you want. They've also got email forwarding included at no extra cost, and you can even update the DNS records to point your own domain at OMG if you want the look of this profile, but you don't necessarily want to put a .lol address on your resume. Pika is a really awesome web app for creating top-class screenshots. You could use this to create posts for social media or for your app on the App Store, or what I do, just sharing the best damn looking screenshots in my company's Slack channels. The options here are pretty great, and you can get a ton of value from Pika without paying a penny, but if you do want a bit more on some of the more advanced features, they do offer subscription access for $9 a month or $99 per year. Typefully is bar none the best way to create Twitter threads, and that's including Twitter itself. You get this beautiful, minimal interface for writing, and you can upload photos and videos in the thread just like you could on Twitter. But what I love about Typefully is that I can schedule threads for the future, something Twitter.com inexplicably doesn't allow. There are some file size limits, and some of the more advanced features are locked behind the $96 per year subscription, but honestly, I think most people will be perfectly happy with the free functionality. There are tons of ways to put screenshots inside frames of iPhones and laptops, but no one does it better than LS Graphics in my opinion. They have the widest selection of high quality mockups I've seen anywhere, and they have them for more than just Apple devices if you can believe it. Their mockups work in Photoshop and Figma, and I personally think the Photoshop ones are a little easier to work with, but either way, they are super high quality in every single case. There's a ton of variety here, and while you can buy individual sets, I personally use their unlimited access subscription so that I can get everything they create during the course of a year. It's $99 for the year, which is steep, but I use them nearly every day, so for me, it's worth it. One of the things that sucks about sharing music these days is that you need to know what music service the other person is using, and if it's different from yours, it's, it's, a, it's a whole thing. So that's where Odyssey comes in, and while I'm not sure that's how you pronounce it, I am sure that it makes it really easy to create universal links that anyone can use to get the music you want them to hear. There are tons of icon sets out there, and honestly, Font Awesome is the one that most people should really use, but I recently discovered Streamline icons, and they are just so damn good that I had to give them a shout here. There are over 13,000 icons here, and most of them have countless variants, so you can almost certainly find whatever you're looking for. I really like using their web app, I really love these icons, I personally like these duo ones, and it's just, oh, I love these icons so much, and I'm willing to overpay for them. Raindrop is a service for saving websites you may want to access later. It's basically a more modern looking pin board, and it has all the bells and whistles you'd expect from a product like that. It's free to use, and you can save unlimited pages on that free plan, and you can even hook it up to something like Zapier to automate adding items to it from anywhere without paying a cent. But if you do pay the $28 per year for the premium service, you get a full archive of each page so you can still get to it even if the original website gets taken down one day. You can perform text searches on your complete library, and there's more as well. Tokameki Unfollow is the best way I've found to trim down your Twitter follow list. It's not automated, so you are going to have to do the work yourself, but it lets you go through everyone you follow and decide if each person's tweets spark any sort of joy in you. If they don't, you can unfollow them with a click. I know there are tons of services out there that do this, but for some reason this one just feels the most personal to me, and I like that. And finally, we have Quick Reviews, which lets you write a short review for something like a movie or book, give it a score, and take a screenshot and share that onto social media. I will say this is my own website that I created to solve a need that I personally have, and I've been using it to post reviews for every movie I watch in 2022 to a thread on Twitter. You can customize the colors of each review and really make it look nice for the specific thing you're reviewing, and it's just a nice little tool that I wanted to exist. So that's it. Those are eight web apps I think are really great. And if you wanted to see some awesome features from Mac apps that I love, check out the next video. And thank you so much for watching.